hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding the default get function in Odoo. so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 15 development tutorials so from the name default get itself you will have understanding about what does this function do default get so this function is responsible to provide the default values for the fields in Odoo so in this tutorial series while we create the appointment model we already have used some default or I have taught you how to set default values for the field so if I go to the pie charm here we have the custom add-ons and we have OM hospital module so if I go to the appointment.py file so here you can see we have two fields that is appointment time which is a date time field and we have a booking date field which is a date field where we have set default values so here you can see default equals to fields dot date time now and here defaults field dot date context dot today so if i try to create a new appointment so i'll just refresh the screen and if i try to create a new record you can see the default values is coming for appointment time the current time and booking date as current date so this function default get function is responsible for this criteria that is default get function is responsible to bring the default values for the fields so what we will be doing is that we will be showing you how to inherit the default get function in Odoo and using that function let's see how we can set some default values for the field so what I have done is we already have created a cancellation menu which calls a wizard so if I click on cancellation we have a pop-up which is a wizard and I have just added a new field of type date so if I go to the wizard folder here we have cancel appointment so what I have done is I have simply added a new field of type date here date cancel string as cancellation date and I have added the same field inside the corresponding view so what we will be doing we will be inheriting the default get function and we will be setting the default value for this field as current day so let's see how we can do that so default get function which one default get function so what I'll do is that inside the Odoo source code I'll search for default get default underscore get then you can see a lot of use case so here you can see you have a sample so simply I'll copy this and you have to put where you have to put it the thing that you have noticed that whenever we inherit the default get function we have to place before the field definition so that is the syntax that you have to follow that is if you are defining a default functions it has to be before the field name so i'll place the default get field function here rather than putting here so that is the a coding syntax that you have to follow default get function has to be placed before the field definition so i have just copied this diff default get self comma fields now what we have to do we have to super it super of super of class name self and this one we have to put it here so here what i will do i will simply assign this to a variable called res this is not needed we can just remove that and if you add some print statement i'll just print default get executed i'll just add a print statement over here that is default get executed now what i will do i'll just restart the service so simply i have added this function that is i have overrided the default get function and just added a print statement for cancel appointment wizard so what i will do i'll close this discard and let me clear the log and if i click on cancellation we are receiving an error so something wrong over here so we have to return this i'll just add a return over here and i'll restart again let me refresh the screen once again 
I'll remove I'll delete this and if I click on cancellation you can see there is no error but if you check the log you can see default get executed that is on opening the form the function has been executed here you can see default get executed and let's see what we have inside the fields variable here we have a fields I just added it over here and I'll restart and let me refresh again and I'll click on the cancellation and if you check here you can see we have appointment ID reason date cancel so those are the field names so what I'll do I'll simply assign this to a variable res equal to this one and I'll return this variable so simply directly returning that function i just assigned it to a variable then that variable is returned so let me print this so i need to execute the default get function and i'm printing that res so let's see what we have inside the res so i'll close this and i'll click on cancellation again and you can see the res is currently empty so you can see it comes as empty dictionary so it, in order to get some value for the reason field I'll put some default value default as test reason I'll just add test reason as a default value for a reason field now I'll just restart and let me duplicate this tab and let me upgrade the module so let me refresh it again and let me check cancellation you can see without upgrading the default value is coming so no need to upgrade so right now itself if you click on cancellation reason is coming here and if you check the default get if you check the res you can see for the field a reason you have a default value test reason so if I need to change it from here currently we are getting a reason as test reason from the default value of the field so if I need to change it from here res of reason I'll put some value that is odometes. I have overrided that odometes. And if I restart the service, and if I trigger the cancellation menu, here you can see the reason is coming as odometes, which is coming from here. So you can see. I hope you get the default get function in Odoo. So I'll remove these things. So I'll remove this default value which I have shown you for the illustration purpose. Now what I'll do, I'll set the default value for date cancel, resolve date cancel. And here I have to get the today's date. So in order to get today's date, we have a function date time dot. Now I'm searching inside Odoo. have a function let me date time dot was it date or today yeah this function so let me copy this and i will put it here date cancel equal to date time dot date dot today so you have to import this date time python library you have to import date time so i think it's from date time import date time you have to give like this for this particular python package and i have set date time dot date today here so i'll just restart and if i click on the cancellation menu again we are receiving error checked has no attribute so let me remove this maybe i have imported the wrong package import date time and let me try once again click on cancellation you can see the today's date is coming here so you have to just import only date time then date time dot date dot today which returns the current date and we are assigning it to date cancel field and here you can see we are getting the current date so this is how we can override the default get function in Odoo. so i hope you understood it's working so if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us over the email or you can directly comment right under this video and please do support us by liking the video do have a comment and share the channel with your Odoo friends so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you